Science proceeds by individual scientists doing experiments which add little bits to our picture of the world. Gradually and steadily, we know more and more about the... Eh, that's how some people imagine it. The truth is far more interesting and far, far messier. We all, scientists included, walk around with assumptions about how the world works. Time was, the world was flat, the sun went round the earth, all disease was caused by humours. These are paradigms, sort of. Because you know how the world works, you literally do not see, cannot see, evidence that contradicts these presuppositions. Little bits of evidence do question the theory, but then a refinement of the theory happens, and there are corollaries and exceptions. Over time, these become more numerous, more ornate and abstruse. Then someone comes along with a better way of explaining the world, simpler, that explains the observations better. There is, of course, resistance to this new paradigm. Old dogs do not want to learn new tricks, sometimes cannot. As a scientist once said, a new scientific truth does not triumph by convincing its opponents and making them see the light, but rather because its opponents eventually die and a new generation grows up that is familiar with it. Remember how long it took for the theory of evolution to be regarded as fact? It still isn't. There is a similar values clash going on now about climate change. You have to weep for this species.